Well, how do you do, Dandy? There, Chums. It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys and the view of us, I've got a weird video for you, people. <laughs> yeah, weird one. So basically, I was playing No Man's Sky and thought this has got a very sort of spiritual sort of tone to it that sort of resonates with my own core beliefs. So yeah, so just hear me out, people in the viewer first. So as soon as you fire up No Man's Sky, you get this lovely sort of cosmic sort of interaction where you're flying through the universe and it's like you're almost homing in to where you want to start in life. It's like your soul is making its way down to its actual body to be birthed into this simulation. Now we often come across the lore inside of the game to say that we've been sitting in the crimson, awaiting to be born into a new iteration. And then you are greeted with a blinding white light that says begin your initialization and you're birthed into the world, thrown upon a planet with a broken ship and a broken multi-tool, not knowing what to do as you wander around and slowly perish. Well, that's the, yeah, that's kind of the experience most of us had, isn't it, really, to be fair. I mean, the actual tutorial in the bottom right-hand corner is a little bit difficult to follow. Let's just put it that way at first. If you don't believe me, just hit on up. Play in No Man's Sky for the first time live, and I guarantee you they're probably not going to get off the planet without dying at least one time. But once you do get your bearings, and you've got your ship all fixed, and you've worked out what you're doing, you're kind of a toddler level, you know what I'm saying? But you, you get to take off on your ship, and oh my doze. It's like taking your first freaking steps, isn't it, people? It's like a whole shift in paradigm when you take off from your first planet, fly up, and go and land on your next planet you're like oh my days this game is something else this game is freaking mind-blowingly brilliant yes kind of like life reassuring then after a while you get your warp drive and you open up the galactic map and you're like hold on that's one star with a load of planets that's not the whole game no it's just freaking billions of these stars and they've all got planets holy fudge and ori it's freaking boom type moment you know what i'm saying and you're probably thinking, well, Captain Steve, how does this tie into your belief system? How does this tie into your core spiritual beliefy type of stuff? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Heck yes, we will. We will. So just stay tuned. But the whole aim of No Man's Sky is to either get to the galactic center and find out the mysteries that are inside of said galactic center, or to actually complete the Atlas path and wake up the Atlas, which is actually the controller of this simulation that you're in. And all the law sort of guides you towards this sort of i don't know overseer if you like this watcher this you're born into this well to do something the bidding of this entity this being to try and help the simulation from falling in upon itself 16 16 16 rings out through those yeah, it's a bit of like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in the whole 40 whatever the number is. 42 or 44? It might even be 43. Who freaking knows? Yes, well, you guys probably know and the few of us that are more avid fans of freaking Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I'm kind of not. I've only watched it like once or twice. I've watched the original, then I watched the remake. I uh, don't know which one I preferred the most. Anyway, we're going off on a freaking tangent now, aren't we? So you head on over to this controller of the simulation known as the Atlas inside of game. Now, some of the NPCs that you encounter, the alien lives, the alien races inside of game, will refer to the Atlas as a god. Yeah, so the Korvax see it as a god, the Gek and the Firstborn do, the Viking are sort of hit and miss. There's one faction that does, that follow the, the word of Null, and then the ones that don't, and follow the word of Herc. Anyway, you're going to get the heart of the sun, you're going to trigger this Atlas point, and it's going to speak to you. Now, what it says here resonates to my spiritual core belief system if you wish okay but i'm going to show you how the whole experience of starting the game in no man's sky also resonates to the things i believe but anyway let me just put up on screen what this actually says so once you get to the center and you trigger the at this point it's going to offer you clarity and truth and all sorts of other stuff but here it's got some very interesting sort of lore and text where it says that you become the atlas and the atlas becomes you. You merge into one, like a sea of consciousness, like a stream of energy. Now, all travelers are all joined. All travelers are being birthed out by the atlas to experience this simulation, to bring back information and data for the atlas to then crunch and analyze to then make sense of the universe. 
And it says here a new star will be born and perhaps a new universe, a new experience and perhaps even a tangent simulation birthed off of this experience or at least that's how I'm interpreting some of this lore and where it's going with it which is freaking great. Now I've zoomed in here because the text there but above right now is like another simulation of a universe in that light bubble. I'll zoom back out again in a second so you can see that but it's freaking awesome. The lore here ties in to my actual core being. You know when you get a gut feeling about something being right or wrong? Well this is kind of how I envisage our universe and our reality to actually be. Important announcement time people out there in the viewerverse. If you're liking what you're seeing with your eye peepers and hearing with your ear holes, please hit that like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Want to grow this channel? Heck yes I do. Important announcement over. Now back to this video where I'm talking about complete gibberish. Let's um, hit this one up. So this is where it gets a little bit odd. I'm going to go into the real world now, people. Here we go. Real world time. Okay then, people. Simple analogy time. So yes, this bottle is like the body. And then the actual water within is the human soul. And yes, at some point, the actual water is going to be leaving that body. Because it's the inevitable. It happens to us all at some point, people. Yes, and just like in this analogy, I'm pouring the actual water down the sink. So that's the soul leaving the body, leaving it as an empty vessel. So at this point you're on a journey. Yes, your soul is transcending. It's moving or ascending or whatever you want to call it. I don't really know which way it flows. But anyway, it's going to be flowing towards the sea of consciousness. Or in this case, the water is going out into the oceans. So I'd like to think of this happening on a cosmic level. Not rivers and seas, but heading up into the space or the cosmos or dimensions. And then eventually reaching what I would call the galactic consciousness. But since we're in analogy mode and keeping this simple, I'm using the galactic consciousness as being the oceans of the seas of our planets. Now you can imagine all these different consciousnesses all sort of colliding here and coming together and converging and becoming as one. So you and I are all the same. Heck yes. And then you become once what you once was, the observer, the watcher, the creator of said simulation to be merged within and to be able to then Home on in to vibration and intention of different vibrational notes of inside of the verse and monitor life as it once was. You've become every traveller, every person, every sort of instance of life upon this verse and iteration. Or well, at least that's how I feel things to be. Yeah, no expense spared on special effects in this department. Heck no. Till next time, people, you've been freaking awesome. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. That's something to ponder about, isn't it? Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.